Well, I'm asking everyone here today. You you have a certain kind of character and look when you come to Monaco. How did you prepare <laughs> to come to Monte Carlo? Now my wife. <laughs> no, actually, um, yeah. I mean, in all seriousness, my you know my wife sort of said to me, "Listen, we're going to this wonderful principality. We're we'll be uh, you know in the presence of royalty." So to speak, and uh, you have to come, you know, dressed and, and looking your best. So I have laid out all my suits and and uh, all my attire for my day attire, my evening attire, uh, my black tie attire, everything. And uh, so, and actually, I'm I'm happy that she sort of told me to sort of uh, step it up a little bit. Uh, we went on, we were on the plane. We just dressed to impress everything. So a little different from the the, the norm, which is fantastic. It, it is kind of fun just to feel a little fancy. Yeah. No, no, it is. I mean, yeah. we, the thing is, you have all these clothes in your in your closet, and then you go, you go, wow, I have that, that shirt, those pants, oh, that jacket, that hat. That's great. Where where all this stuff go? And all the stuff you get from like doing different shows, different films. You know, you get a jacket here, and you just put it in the closet, and you're like, I have some nice stuff to wear. So now I have a, I have an excuse to wear. So your first time here for the television festival, and you're on such a great show. Okay, yes. So congratulations just on all your success. This must be a really fun time for you. Thank you. <laughs> no, no. Are you are you enjoying all this and and obviously Grimm renewed for a third season. Yeah. Which is, um which is exciting. Well, well first obviously we're I am enjoying all this. This is honestly this is uh I don't know. I, I still feel like I'm going to be clicking my heels three times at some point, you know. Uh I I feel very fortunate, very lucky to be here. Um just the success of the show, uh, the the fanfare, the excitement, um, you know, as is evident by just the number of fans and pictures and autographs, um, and you know, just the, the success that it's um, attained on a global level. It's been fantastic, um, and just and also just excited about a third season. You know, when you're when you're a part of something that you enjoyed, you know, doing on a daily basis, um, to get another 22 opportunities at it. Um, is, is exciting, you know, and uh, what's not to love, you know. So working in a, in a wonderful city like Portland, working with a great cast, some, some wonderful, talented people. And, you know, honestly, it's, uh, I've been at this business for a while now, and it's rare. So uh, in having this opportunity, I've, um, I'm going to embrace it and hold on to it for as long as I can. Well, uh, because of uh, an, an unfortunate incident that happened off camera, I was uh, hobbling around quite a bit uh, at the end of season two. Uh, missed a, an episode uh, or so, um, and so my character came back uh, ha having torn his Achilles tendon, which I did in real life, and uh, and so um, very painful. But um, so you know, I, I'll sort of I'll become a little bit more ambulatory. I'll become ambulatory and able to walk around again, and so I'll be able to get back I into the fray. And uh, you know, fight these creatures and uh, get back to uh, saving my friend and, and, and partner, and then also you know, fighting crime in that fair city of Portland. Sounds cool too. Uh, just, just from the cast of this show, it sounds like you have some input on your characters and your storylines. Is that true? So I mean, obviously with your injury, they, they incorporated that. Well, they well yeah, they had to incorporate yeah. that and sort of work around it. You know, I don't think I don't, we don't have any input, uh, or I don't have any input on storylines. But I think what we what we do have is sort of the uh, the creative license to sort of shape our characters uh, in in our own image or in, in how we see fit. And I think they've sort of allowed uh, they've sort of taken all of our personalities and just sort of add, added that uh, to the mix, you know, if you will. We ha we've had a lot of time um, off the set, uh, dinners with the executives, with the writers, and I think they've got had an opportunity to really learn who we are, learn our personalities who we are off camera. And, uh, you know, I think we're all some very interesting and dynamic and um, uh, smart, intelligent people. And uh, they've sort of they've added that to the mix and added that to our character. And so it makes it a lot more fun uh, to, to get into character. And it's just a little easier, you know, to come to work every day. Uh, everything. I'm big into f uh, pho now, and so there's, there's this place down on Second called Luke Lock, which is just absolutely fantastic. Uh, there's the the, the, the Thai place, um, Pak Pak, uh, on the northeast side. Uh, love steaks uh, at uh, Lawhurst Market. 
Um, there's this, now this new donut spot, which uh, actually see we're in France, these brioche um, themed sort of inf donuts um, called Blue Star Donuts that are fantastic. Uh, you can only eat one and even that you have to share because it's so rich, uh, but it's good. I mean, I don't cook anymore because every day I'm at a new restaurant. No, seriously, I'm at a new restaurant. There's um, Oven and Shaker, which is a pizza place, which is right across the street from my apartment. I mean, I can't stop. And so, which, but what's great about it is that it is such a foodie ta food town and it's organic and it's a really farm to table. And so they're really incorporating, obviously, a lot of the local uh, produce and, uh, and vegetables, uh, you know, into the, a lot of the restaurants. So you know you're eating healthy, you know you're eating clean. And for us actors and artists, we have to maintain this, you know, this youthful, young-looking, you know, svelte, uh, you know, um, body. And uh, it makes it a little easier, you know, uh, except, you know, when we're drinking beer, you know, <laughs> in the brew fest and stuff like that. But that's good. Yeah. You don't have too many donuts where you can't blend your seriously. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You when your wife comes home, she's like, what have you been doing? <laughs> well, congratulations on the show and the success of just being here. And all Thank you, Aaron. I no, I don't have time. Ten months out of the year, Achilles tended rupture. It's you know, it's all too much. Well, I'm glad you're